was built as an icon to the space age, and it really was uh, intended as a, a kind of a message to the world that our future was in technology and, and in space. Seattle's world-renowned Space Needle was constructed in 1961. Inspired by the telecommunications tower in Stuttgart, Germany, it was the inspiration of Seattle businessman Edward Carlson, who had sketched his vision on a napkin, roughly, but enough for architect John Graham Jr. to take and transform into a seemingly weightless cylinder in the sky. The Space Needle officially opened four months later as part of the first day of the 1962 World's Fair, along with another enduring Seattle fixture, the monorail. The Space Needle's unique tripod construction makes it instantly identifiable, visually distinct from any other structure. But its appearance has altered over the years. We're witnessing the Space Needle taking on the original colors that it had, at least the top house had, which was a color called Galaxy Gold. People don't realize it because the color is white now. The Space Needle, when it first debuted 50 years ago, had an orange top. What we're going to do is have that Galaxy Gold be on the roof of the needle for six months. And that was the original duration of the fair in 1962. And so when you open up that grate to get out there on the slope roof, it, it's scary. And it, it takes your breath away. Even with the safety harness and all this stuff, you're scared. From higher above, and of course from below, the feelings the Space Needle inspire are more likely to be awe, enchantment, and a definitive sense of place. For the city, it became a kind of Eiffel Tower, a, a symbol that is known around the world. When you see the Space Needle, you know it's Seattle.